Okay, season two, here we come. The Kardashians are back on Hulu. We're back in case you missed us. This September. We are starting to talk wedding dresses. Everything gets elevated. I do believe in love. When you love, you know you're alive. You have these feelings. No matter how crazy things are, we're always going to be family. Now hold your crown up. The Kardashians season two, now streaming only on Hulu. When you shop at a Walmart Vision Center, you get it. You know that you'll spend a little less on stylish glasses for the whole family. Welcome to the Vision Center. Let me know if you need help finding the perfect frame. Hey, Mom, you were right. These glasses are cool. Hon, they take our insurance. That means Papa's getting a new pair, too. Whoa, glasses start at just $39. Next stop, groceries. So you can get a little more of what you need. Find a Vision Center near you. Save money, live better. Walmart. All right, here's what happens on this clip on the Lost Zane Recordings free view. Segment starts with Diana calling in, all right? And then we segue into an interview with Yuri Fisher of the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, he's in uh, one of the uh, uh, big wigs, the higher-ups, after what was a career that was too short. He was the guy, Yuri Fisher, who collapsed on the bench years ago and had a heart attack. And they revived him, and he lived. He joined us on the show. Part of this free view, little snippet of the Lost Zane recordings, the full show on my Patreon from my years at 107.3 WBBL. Check this out. If you like it, consider signing up for the Patreon. 15-plus hours of content each and every week. Just 5 bucks a month for the audio, 10 bucks a month for the audio, video, and live streams. Try it out. See if you like it for that month. And maybe it'll turn into your uh, go-to podcast to go with my free podcast, patreon.com slash Eric Zane. Here you go. All right, let's bring her in. Diana. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. Getting ready? Everybody's ready to go? Yeah, we're in the car. Mm -hmm. That didn't start off right, though. You didn't have your song, did you? No. Late in the evening by Paul Simon. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You dummy. Sorry, that's, that's something that's I'm supposed like, to do. Yeah, that's like, and then, then then everybody knows that I'm coming on. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. And they can be ready. She's out, she's demanding her music <laughs> yeah. now. <laughs> to a point where she's demanding her, her music. Hey, by the way, Daisy had an accident. Not not Daisy. Uh, O'Neal had an accident in the cage. Oh, great. Yeah. So I don't know what the Why deal is with that. Then I'm glad you didn't come get me to, no. me to make me clean it up. No, no, no. Typically, it, it depends. If it's solid, I can handle it. If it's <laughs> was can... it poo? Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. What else would it have been? A pee? Yeah. Really? But... <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, if it was solid. There's, there's a couple different options for first sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, Buddy ran in when I was leaving. So he's in the house. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, he doesn't know how to use the freaking cat box. Why would you do that? you got to go get him. I can't. I'm on my way to work. He ran in as I was leaving. Well, why didn't you be more careful? The cat, is, he's a, he's a, he's an outside feral alley cat, and you just let him he, strut in the house? Try he knows, kick him. He has a, knows how to use a litter box. He's used it before. Uh, all right. Um, I don't know if he even knows where it's at, though. I didn't show him where yes, it was. he does. He's been upstairs. He's not retarded. You can't say that. You can't, dumb. you can't. Sorry, I know. That, that was what bad. Is, <laughs> everyone's losing their mind today. You can't say that. I mean, you can't say the R word. What you, how come I'm the only one here? The guy who gets fired is the only one telling people how to act around here. Yeah, because you're afraid of getting fired. I never say that considering where, how, who I work, who oh. I work. So that is a bad. That was, uh, I you, don't bad. To, you don't need to highlight it. Um, huh? So anyway, uh, it's something I wanted to talk to you about. There was two things. Do you want to talk about the dream first, or do you want to talk about the incident at uh, American RV? Uh, whatever you would like. Okay, what let's talk. Like let's talk about the dream. How did it go on your end? From it was uh, Friday. It was Saturday morning. You're like two in the morning. Yeah, I was sound asleep. Like I think I was in like REM sleep. I think I was dreaming. Yeah, and and I was jolted awake by. What? Was it Mike Illich? Hold, hold on. Hold on a second, Diana. You can't do that to her. Shut up and let her tell her story. 
<laughs> it was the ghost of Red so, Wings past. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, 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 time out, Pooh. Time out, <laughs> Pooh. That makes no sense, and it's not funny. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I scream, Pooh, Pooh. Yeah, so I was jolted awake by you yelling my name. Uh huh. And I'm like, what? You go, I have to straighten my arm. <laughs> I go, okay. You go, I have to straighten my arm out and I have to relax it. It hurts. I go, why did you wake me up for that? And then I roll over and then you go, wait a minute. My arm doesn't hurt. That must have been a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. What on earth? I re- now, when you brought it up to me, you said, hey, why did you wake me up last night? I go, I did? I had no idea. Right. And then as you told like, me the story more and more, I went, oh, yeah, I did do that. <laughs> there, it, I was having a dream that my arm was in pain. And then it manifested by screaming your name. Oh, my gosh. I know you drove me awake. I thought something was seriously wrong. Uh, hang on a second, Pooh. Uh, Yuri just called me on my cell phone. Can you call him back and, and, then, uh, and then maybe we can get him on? Uh, we, yeah, we, we, we ran a miss with Yuri Fisher, but uh, as you heard us, Diana. And then tell them about what happened when we were at American RV because they did their big Winterfest sale. And we're just uh-huh. walking through campers with my friend Jimmy and Diana and I. Are walking, mm-hmm. we're, we're in a camper. We, we, yeah, we're in a camper. And I thought I'd be silly by, like, opening the bathroom door and then pretending like someone was in there. So, so I opened it and I shut it real quick and it was something in there. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, there's something in there. But there really wasn't. And I go, no, there really wasn't something there. But then I turned the corner, and there's a <laughs> there's a lady standing there, and she scared the hell out of me. So I screamed in her face. Loud. Like, They're like, like one like, inch from each other. Diana turns around. Lady, She's like 70 years old. And Diana goes, ah! Right in her face. <laughs> and this poor lady jumped. Had a heart attack. Probably. She jumped. Probably now, died. Let me just tell <laughs> you. Jumped. This she woman, Diana. Her heart. Diana, whenever she sees someone startled, that's a recipe for hilarity for her. And so she sees that she has startled this poor woman and starts laughing in her face. Oh. <laughs> now, her uh, her husband her husband sees this and witnesses it all. And she, he's ready to go, probably. Well, he looks at her and says, what's in her coffee? <laughs> <laughs> So that's all. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. I it can't take me anywhere. Yeah, I know we can't. We can't. But and then and then Jimmy Jimmy was who I was was his very dear friend was like, oh my gosh, and uh, so you know that's that's exactly how that went. Um, So he was laughing hysterically. My God, (laughs) it was a disaster. I don't. I hope that lady was okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Pooh, I'm gonna let you go. Yuri Fisher wants to talk to us, so I'm gonna get to that. He's much more important. Tell him I said hi. I appreciate you calling and uh, and have a good day. Okay. You too. See All you right. Later. Our better half. My bet. Our better half. Like Julius is married to her. <laughs> ben, I got him on uh, on hold. He, he called. Okay, season two. Here we come. The Kardashians are back on Hulu. We're back in case you missed us. This September. We are starting to talk wedding dresses. Everything gets elevated. I do believe in love. When you love, you know you're alive. You have these feelings. No matter how crazy things are. We're always going to be family. Now hold your crown up. The Kardashians Season 2, now streaming only on Hulu. Next time someone needs to send you money, tell them to use Zelle. With Zelle, the money goes straight into your bank account, and it typically only takes minutes between enrolled users. And even if the sender uses a different U.S. bank, it still works. Plus, Zelle is already in over 1,600 banking apps, so you probably won't have to download another one. By the way, make sure the sender has your correct U.S. mobile number or email address so the money goes to the right place. Look for Zelle in your banking app today. Uh, let's bring him in right now. Yuri Fisher from your Detroit Red Wings. Yuri, can you? Yeah, hey, buddy. You, Yuri. Hey, buddy. How are you? Uh, doing great. I, uh, traveling in Russia and, uh, you know, on a scouting trip. I was in Sweden. And- yeah, you've been very, very busy. Thank you for taking the time. Condolences on the passing of Mr. Mike Illich. Uh, this is Yuri Fisher, Director of Player Development for the Detroit Red Wings. And um, hang on, get rid of Diana. Director of Player Development for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, you were overseas when you got the news about uh, about Mr. Illich. Uh, very, very sad day for Red Wings fans and family members of the Illiches and, uh, and, and, the, and, and two uh, sports leagues, pretty much the sports world in general, very saddened by the passing of Mr. Illich. It's, uh, you know, I was, uh, when I got the news, I, uh, I was driving from uh, northern Sweden 
uh, back to uh, back to at the board, and um, you know, and get the news. That's when the reality hits. And yeah. Mr. Illich was a special, special man, and uh, we're not uh, we're not going to meet anybody like that again. No, no question. In fact, if you could take us back, Yuri, to that fateful night in '05, in November of '05, when uh, you went in a cardiac arrest, and thank God, some quick uh, action saved you and kept you with us. But can you describe uh, what Mister and Missus Illich did for you and how it went? I think your relationship really got to another level from that point on. Very much, and uh, you know, it really started when I was drafted in '98, and. Yeah, um, I always uh, felt that uh, the Red Wings, um, you know, it, it's not a not a corporation. It was a family. It, it is a family run business, and Mr. and Mrs. Illich, uh, they they had the reins, and they always treated us that they made us feel that we're part of something. That uh, you know, I've I've worked uh, for them. Since 1999, as an employee, I never felt as an employee. I always felt that uh, you know I was uh, I was a guy that uh, they were excited to see. They remembered my name. They they remembered my uh, family members' na- names. Uh, they remembered my parents. They remembered my kids' names. Uh, it was um, it, it was really uh, it, it still is a really neat time, you know, to work for them and. I, um, you know, that night I, uh, went into cardiac arrest. I passed out on the bench. I got, uh, you know, somehow to the hospital while I was unconscious. And, and then when I woke up, uh, in the emergency room, I got transported upstairs in my room in the, uh, receiving hospital. And, and then, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Illich showed up in the first group, uh, as uh as I started uh receiving visitors and you know Ken Holland was in the group and uh the leadership of the team Jim Mill and it was uh you know to me I, I always look at uh um you know, leadership. They always uh you know, focus on a cause. They always focus uh on uh making things better and but I realized then that it's all about people and um they really uh Treated us unlike, unlike, uh, I always imagine you're an employee and, you know, you go to work and then you receive a paycheck and that's not, uh, you know, they, they made me feel special. They, um, mm-hmm. I was panicking. I right. had a hard time grasping what actually happened. And, you know, right then, even before, uh, Mr. Illich walked into my, my hospital room, uh, you know, only later I found out he talked to my uh, fiance Avery at the time, and you know he told her, "Don't worry, we'll take care of everything." You know, he's one of us, and and uh, we're honoring the mm-hmm. contract. I had a one year left on the contract, and we're gonna bring the parents over. Whatever needs to be done, we'll make sure that uh, Yuri's gonna bounce back. Wow! And they sh- they sure did. Uh, very uh, very humbling, very special time. It was very tense for me emotionally, and um, you know they they really made sure that uh, everything works out for me. So special man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you think about the commitment he made right then and there. One less thing for you to think about as you were in a very, very scary situation and have since been able to transition to a terrific administrative role, being the director of player development, Yuri Fisher from the Detroit Red Wings, talking on the passing talking about the passing of, uh, of Mr. Illich. I, in fact, what you said sounds very similar to what I heard Chris Osgood say over the weekend when um, uh, Ozzy talked about his time in Detroit and then with the Islanders and then with St. Louis and then back to Detroit. And one of the things he mentioned was he had a chance to see other ownership groups. And boy, it was completely different to what he had experienced in Detroit. And he and I and I think that it all kind of echoes what you said about how they did business, just kind of like a mom and pop business. Starting with people first. That's uh that's what I realized. You know, early um the young kid I, I started playing as a nineteen year old and uh so you just worry about hockey, worry about hockey, worry about hockey and make sure I get ice time, make sure I play well and that's the only way to get ice time and make sure I'm prepared and, and then as uh as we get older I you know, I started paying attention to other things and uh 
at uh, really how uh, how the business is ran and uh, how how it starts at the top. And you know, we would have uh, annually we would have our development camp uh, for our top prospects. And you know, when uh, when we uh, held it in Detroit, now it's up in Traverse City. And when we held it in Detroit, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Silich, uh, they always made sure that uh, they get face-to-face time with all the prospects. And so they invited uh, basically uh, the whole staff of the camp uh, and uh, all the 40 players that we bring in uh, into uh, their suite at the, uh, at the Tigers games. And uh, they really made sure they shake hands with everybody. They made sure that uh, they give everybody enough time to feel important. And, uh, yeah. you know, that's what uh, some guys that uh, – that they would never see again. They, you know, a lot of the guys weren't under contract, and just the way they uh, they treat people, and the way that Mr. Illich, uh really made sure that uh, everybody gets to know him, and uh, he gets to know them, and remembers, and made everybody feel good. Yuri Fisher, Red Wings uh, Director of Player Development. Uh, very, very nice of you to co- join us from Russia today. Uh, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, maybe you've already kind of answered it, but what's the one lasting memory you'll have of Mike Illich? That's interesting. I uh, uh, I will always remember how calming his presence was. I never felt, uh, and this is uh, this is personal. I uh, you know grew up in communism. I grew up in Czechoslovakia. And um, you, uh, uh, as uh, you look at uh, older um, people with uh, utmost respect, and uh, you know you have to call them Mister. And uh, and then uh, in communism, there's always uh, uh, an order uh, of rank. And uh, you know when I get to uh, North America, uh, I realize that. Um, you know, things can be different too. Uh, it, the the biggest thing was that uh, Mr. Illich never, uh, I never felt that he treated us, I'm an owner, you're an employee, you listen what I say. Gotcha. It was always, hey, how can I help? And uh, how have you been? And uh, what about, uh, you know, the last season? Tell me something about it. And so I will remember, I was uh, two years ago, in uh, Mr. Illich's suite uh, with uh, all our prospects, and and he sat down, and uh, then he started talking. He uh, he really wanted to make sure he knows everything about our prospects and uh, who is our first round pick and who are the invites, and and he really was uh, curious. He was uh, he was interested in uh, who all the people are. There was mm-hmm. about fifty of us, yeah. And uh, he took time, and uh, I will always remember. That uh, I was never treated like an employee. Uh, I will always remember that uh, he uh, he was very welcoming and uh, very calming, and uh, that was one of the times that was a good example of um, hey, how are your kids? And I haven't seen him for years, so uh, right. he always had questions. Uh, he always uh, had time to listen to what people had to say, and to me, that was uh, that was the ultimate guy to work for. Incredible. Yuri Fisher, Director of uh, Player Development for the Detroit Red Wings, joins us from Russia. I also saw this story came out about Mike, about Mr. Illich, about um, for the last 10 years of Rosa Parks' life. And you may not have even known this because it wasn't really talked about. No one talked about it. But upon his passing, people who were involved in this did reveal it that Mr. Illich was very upset that 10 years before her death, uh, uh, Ms. Parks was was robbed, and he said, we've got to get her into a terrific neighborhood, and it needs to happen right now. And and Mr. Illich put her into a nice place to live and paid for it. And that story developed uh, over the weekend as well. Um, now the story can be told. He, of course, didn't want it talked about at the time. Uh, but I think that is also another example of the uh, of the fine soul that uh, that the Illiches are and were. Amazing. Yeah, it's a great story. Yeah, and, it, it, uh, it just uh, it just resonates with uh, everything I witnessed that they mm-hmm. first. Yeah, they're always people first. And I think that's why uh, they've uh, they've been so successful in life. 
Well, Yuri, we really appreciate you taking uh, the time to join us. Condolences again. The hockey family, the hockey world, and the sports world is, is mourning. And uh, Mr. Illich will lie in repose for a public visitation Wednesday at the Fox Theater in Detroit. Are you, what's your uh, travel schedule? Are you, uh, you going to be, I mean, how, how, how's it working on your end? Well, I'll be uh, uh, I'll be flying back today, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's, uh, I think it's um, uh, obviously very tough. Yeah, Yuri, thank you so much for taking the time, and we'll see you down the road, okay, buddy? Thank you very much, Yuri Fisher from your Detroit Red Wings, joining us. Fantastic, man! Just uh, tough, tough thing as uh, as Mr. Illich has uh, passed away. Yuri, I mean, I mean. Uh, he was, uh, I mean, definitely feeling it. You could hear it in his voice. And uh, just quite a thing. Coming up next, we will get into the Grammys. It's a pretty good show, actually. A couple, a couple of screw-ups. I think they recovered, but just there was some weird moments in that thing. We'll be back. Not alone, just look around. Hey, thanks for listening to the free view of the Lost Zane recordings. Full show at patreon.com slash Eric Zane. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye. When Shopify says you can sell anywhere, oh, they mean it. Woo, hold up. Just got a new sale, order fulfilled, and shipped. Inventory level's good. Whoa, Shopify doesn't mind if you're at sea level. Or on top of the world. Oh, you can run and grow your business anywhere. Climbing mountains is never easy, but at least Shopify gives me all the tools I need for my business to hit new beats. Whether you're selling carabiners or crop tops, start selling with Shopify today and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of businesses worldwide. We've built the platform so you can keep climbing and grow your business to new heights. With Shopify, you really can sell to anyone from anywhere. This is Possibility, powered by Shopify. Start selling online today. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash free 22. Shopify.com slash free 22. Shopify.com slash free 22. Internet connection required. Not available on mountaintops or seafloors. When you shop at a Walmart Vision Center, you get it. You know that you'll spend a little less on stylish glasses for the whole family. Welcome to the Vision Center. Let me know if you need help finding the perfect frame. Hey, Mom, you were right. These glasses are cool. Hon, they take our insurance. That means Papa's getting a new pair, too. Whoa, glasses start at just $39. Next stop, groceries. So you can get a little more of what you need. Find a Vision Center near you. Save money, live better. Walmart.